Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome to our updated nighttime routine, bedtime routine, whatever you want to call it. If you are new to my channel, I am a single mom of a very wild little three-year-old named Zaya. So it's just me and her living in the house. We recently just moved into a new house. So I wanted to show you what our nighttime routine is looking like now that we're in a new space. So our nighttime routine pretty much starts when we get back home from preschool. I pick her up at around 5 5 30 on the days that she does go she doesn't go every single day but when she does go she plays super hard she plays outside and I think on this day it was somebody's birthday and they had chocolate cake so she is covered in chocolate super dusty and dirty but my philosophy is I know you're gonna take a bath at the end of the night so I just let her stay dirty honestly until it's bath time because I know she's gonna get even more messy if she continues to play at home and eating dinner and stuff like that so don't mind the mess and the chocolate on her face we definitely will be taking care of that later on in the night but the first thing that Zaya always asks for when she walks in the door from preschool is a snack and she is obsessed with fruit snacks so on the days when she's being good I do let her have a fruit snack for snack and then typically I'll grab something for myself as well just because I'm gonna be making dinner a little bit later and usually I'm kind of hungry around this time now confession I definitely got kind of distracted when I was filming this video and totally forgot to at least make Zaya wash her hands before having snack at home. So just so you know, I'm not a perfect mom. It happens, but normally she can be messy from school, but normally I would at least have her wash up a little bit before eating, but I totally forgot. Also, if you guys notice the time on my oven, it says that it's like 7 p.m. That's not true. We get home from preschool at about no later than six, definitely. Definitely. So it's around six o'clock when we usually have this little snack and this is a good time for me to talk to Zaya about her day What did she do at school and just kind of have a little bonding moment? Um, I play with Emily and Carrie Grace, but I play with Becca. You do? Mm -hmm. What did y'all do? Um, uh, me and Becca was making a cake but we would play with dinosaurs. You're playing with the dinosaurs? Yeah, with Bickham. And then after our little snack time, Zaya loves to run upstairs to her playroom where she has all her toys and she can just play up there for hours and hours if I let her. She has tons of stuff, way too many toys, honestly. She loves to play pretend and act like she's owning a restaurant. She's a waitress. She's serving me food, cooking for me. She has all her Peppa Pig stuff, her baby dolls and her Barbies. So she just loves to play up there. I try to spend some time with her and play with her, like I said, just to have that bonding time. But after a while, I do go downstairs to get dinner started. Mustard. And some mustard. And, and you strawberry and you pop cake. And you bread and you hot dog. I just leave her up there to entertain herself and play with her toys. If I ever do need to check on her, I do have a camera up there that I can see on my phone. So that's super handy with the um, Nest cameras. But I just head downstairs and get dinner started. And to be totally honest with you guys, I never do anything elaborate or, you know, fancy for dinner. I'm not that great of a cook. I don't like to cook and it's just me and Zaya. So I'm just being real with you guys. I really like to stick to very, very simple recipes also because Zaya Zaya is still in her picky eater phase. So on this night, I'm just making plain old spaghetti because I know it's easy, it's quick, it's something that I like to eat and it's something that she will actually eat. I would be interested to know though, if you guys wanna comment down below, if there's any other single moms out there or moms who only have one child or if you have a picky eater, what do you guys typically do for dinner? Because I have an issue with always having way too much food and having so much leftovers and you don't wanna 
to eat that same thing over and over again but you also don't want to waste food also with having a picky eater and it's just her it's hard to just make those small portions of stuff that she will actually eat so if you guys can comment down below any meal ideas or any tips and tricks that you have I would greatly appreciate it So now that dinner is ready, I just called Zaya down to come and eat and we typically just eat at the bar. I do have the actual table, dining table over on the other side of the kitchen, but those chairs have white fabric even though they are stain resistant. I just still don't want to mess them up. So I like to just sit at the bar with her. I can sit next to her and I actually like the fact that my bar is facing away from the TV. So it's not really a time to just sit and turn the TV on because we can't even really see it. So I like to just sit with her and talk to her and like I said just use this as another opportunity to bond with her and everything like that. But again I'm all about keeping it real with you guys. Sometimes I do end up in a position where eating is not really a bonding time and I'm really trying to get better about that. You guys always ask me you know as a single working mom how do I find time to get everything done and honestly meal time sometimes becomes work time for me just because I know it's a time when Zaya is sitting in one place she's focused on eating so I can leave her there while I go and get some work done if I'm behind on certain things so I'm trying to be better about scheduling out my time to where I'm not having to work during mealtime and I can use it more for like a bonding time because I know it is super important to actually sit down and have a meal with your children and talk to them during that time so I was super proud of Zaya she did really good with eating her spaghetti like I said that's one thing that I know that she likes and she will eat even though she's a picky eater and she was already messy but now she's super messy with all that spaghetti sauce so now it is definitely time to go upstairs and take a bath Just a little tip for you moms out there, sometimes small kids don't like to take a bath. They either just don't want to stop what they're doing to take a bath or for some reason they just don't like to take a bath. So if you have an issue with that, I highly recommend getting some fun little bath things like bath bombs, bath paint, bath crayons. These things are all washable. They're not going to stain your tub or anything like that. They're really easy to clean up and I like to just keep a stock of these things just to make bath time more fun for her. And it definitely cuts back on having you know those moments where she's like no I don't want to take a bath Something that I've always tried to work on with Zaya ever since she was a little baby is independence. Because I am a single mom and she is an only child, it's really important for her to be independent. So something that I always do throughout the day, whether it be eating, bath time, cleaning up, I always try to encourage her to try and do things for herself. Even if she's not very good at it yet, even if she's not fully able to complete the task, of course I will still help her and I will still go back and do it properly but I always always try to let her do things herself such as washing up in the bath cleaning up her toys you know anything like that let them do it take the time to just sit there and let them try to do it and then you can go back and you know finish the job
after bath of course it's just time for pajamas Zaya is obsessed with what she calls her cozy jammies her footy pajamas doesn't matter how hot it is she still wants to wear her fleece footy pajamas and then I like to just take some time to kind of just wind down if she wants to play with her toys a little bit more or watch a show watch a movie watch her iPad whatever it is and then I try to encourage her to clean up her toys every night I'm not gonna lie to you guys we don't do this every night just because sometimes it honestly seems pointless because I know the next day she's just gonna take all the stuff back out again and it never stays clean but it is important to teach her the responsibility and the independence of you know if you make a mess you have to clean it up you have to take care of your toys if you want to have these nice toys you have to take care of them and put them away when you're done so that's just what I'm trying to teach her even though I know it's never going to stay clean in here so I really do try to encourage her to clean up her toys before bed again I don't do this every night it doesn't go smoothly every night sometimes we have a little temper tantrum about it but I try and I find that it's definitely easier if you stick to a consistent schedule so that she knows what to expect so if I get in a habit of asking her to put away her toys every single night for multiple days in a row then we don't tend to have as many tantrums about it because she's used to it she knows it's coming she already is preparing herself for it so it's like nothing to complain about but if I kind of like get lazy or I forget and I haven't made her do it in a while that's when it becomes a problem so it's all about staying consistent and staying on a schedule. All done. After all the toys are put away, no matter how long it takes, no matter how many tears there are, I try to encourage her to just finish and I will wait for as long as it takes. Then it's time for bed and the last thing that we do before bed, again, I try to do this every single night. I'm not gonna lie to you and act like I'm a perfect mom and I do all of this every single night. That's just not true. But I try to read her a bedtime story or two or let her read it to me these days before bed. And like I said, it's more like she's actually reading me a bedtime story now because she does like to kind of take over. She's not fully reading yet, but she does know some sight words and she kind of memorizes the stories and likes to tell it to me. And then of course I read it to her. This is really helpful with learning how to read and learning those sight words and also just relaxing before bed so that she falls asleep sleep easier and yellow and red uh, red yellow blue the end and after the bedtime stories it is finally time for bed so of course I tuck her in I turn her sound machine on she does still sleep with the sound machine that helps a lot and she does still sleep in pitch black darkness I feel like those two things are a major key in helping her go to sleep and stay asleep she's always been a really good sleeper who sleeps through the night I've never had any issues of her waking up or trying to come to my room a lot of people have asked me with having her bedroom upstairs and my bedroom bedroom downstairs does she like try to come downstairs in the middle of the night she never does that she's never been that type of kid once I turn the lights off and turn the sound machine on she is down for the night and she does not get up but if there ever was an issue like let's say she got sick in the middle of the night or anything like that I do also have the nest cameras in her bedroom and I have the alerts on my phone so my phone actually goes off every time it notices any motion or loud sound so I will be able to check on her and be notified if anything does happen in the night from downstairs in my bedroom so now since I took Zaya straight upstairs after dinner to give her a bath I left a huge mess in the kitchen from when I was making the spaghetti so I've got to clean that up of course I don't just want to leave food sitting out as much as I want to sometimes I'm not one of those people who finds cleaning therapeutic I know some moms really like cleaning that's like their time to like relax they find it like therapeutic but I don't I honestly hate cleaning but I know I've got to do it I love having a nice clean house but I don't like cleaning so I do use a cleaning service that helps me out but they do not come every single day so I just try to keep up with the cleaning as much as I can and that definitely means cleaning up at least a little bit before bed every night I know if you're a mom out there watching this nighttime routine video you have probably watched other people's nighttime routine videos and something that I've noticed from watching them is that it seems like there's just these super moms out there who do all this work and then they finally 
put their kids to bed and then they go and they basically scrub down their whole house before they go to sleep and they're just cleaning everything. I just feel like, you know what, as long as you hit the main areas, you get the kitchen, you get the dishes, pick up a little bit around the house just so it's not a total disaster, you're good. You know, do a little bit as you go. And then if you have like one day out of the week where you do the full cleaning, I feel like that's good enough. Sometimes I know it can be hard watching these videos and feeling like you're not doing enough as a mom, but I just want to say, I understand how you feel. I am just like you. And that's why I'm trying to show you guys a realistic view of what our real nighttime routine is. All right. So now that my responsibilities are at least mostly taken care of, I can finally take some time for myself so on this night I decided to do a bubble bath of course I do not take bubble baths every single night but I do like to throw one in there you know once a week I like to have a little bit of a self-care moment as often as I can because I do think it's important to take time for yourself as a mom so I'm doing a bubble bath with you know a bath bomb and everything and I was super excited because I had just realized that I can actually see my TV in my room from my bathtub so I turned on Netflix I was watching my show I just soaked in the bath for a while it was really nice after I got out of the bathtub I just went ahead and did my skincare routine of course I got to do my nighttime skincare this is another thing that I try like I'm trying to be better about really taking the time to do my full thorough skincare routine every single night before bed because when you're just tired and exhausted sometimes you just want to take a quick shower dry off the throw something on and just go to bed like you don't feel like standing at your sink and doing this multi-step skincare routine but I know it's important and I'm trying to take care of my skin so I try to just take that time and it is a form of self-care as well so it's important after that when I'm finally ready for bed of course I just throw on my PJs get in the bed and I scroll on my phone for probably at least an hour if I'm honest because I do social media for a living let's be honest I'm obsessed with scrolling on Instagram and Twitter and my new obsession is TikTok so I can scroll on TikTok at night for like over over an hour easily or I might just watch Netflix or watch YouTube videos on my TV whatever it may be I kind of just take that time my little screen time and then finally I go to bed so yeah guys that is what our nighttime routine is looking like right now give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next one bye